so I've been mucking about with this for a little while and I um, hope you agree it's coming on a little bit. Sounds a lot better than the previous ones but uh, I want to talk to you about the plugins I've actually used and found useful because um, well it, there are so many of them already pre-installed that actually like um, a little bit of if I, Basically, I've had to go through a few just to find the ones that really do the job. So, if I just show you, um, now those little hiccups that always happen in these videos don't happen usually. So, I'm thinking there's something to do with OBS. Let's just turn this down a little bit. So, um, First of all, gain staging has been an important thing, which it always is. Uh, there are built-in plugins for MIDI gain. And there's one. Uh, there it is. It's not anything spectacular. It uses these default um, GUIs that get generated by Ardor for these types of plugins, the LP2s, uh, which I think is quite a neat little feature. Other plugins like this EQ one over here have their own one. Or, but yeah, if it um, you know if it works, it works. So this is like just an ordinary gain one. I have actually got some audio gain ones as well because this is a MIDI gain. But then, um, so in this patch bay over here in Carla, I've set this one to be always on top and just um, send him down to the bottom for a minute. So I've got these. Uh, these ones running in Carla and what they're doing is actually just running this microphone pretty much uh, apart from the one at the bottom which is turning the music down in OBS so that you can hear my voice which is probably stilted and stuff because I'm trying to read off a script and remember things because it's not a very good script um, so yeah I've got some audio gain and a EQ and a meter for the microphone so yeah this meter here is just the microphone as you can see as I can get closer and make it clip um, yeah so that's this whole little chain here let's go back into that or well, maybe we don't need that playing for a little while um, so there's some plugins down there and also we've got plugins up here now this one is called Loud Max, and it's amazing. Basically, without it, the mix would be incredibly quiet. Like, I've, you must have had this thing where you're trying to mix a thing, and you get all the gain stage in like nice. You get all the meters at the right level, and then you you hear it, and it sounds really quiet compared to like commercial mixes of music that you heard. Um, <clears throat> So Loudmax basically solves that problem in one slider. Um, I've never had to use this slider with it yet, just this one. And as you can see, it's like a compression thing. I've it's one I downloaded, by the way. You have to download Loudmax, so I'll put a link in the description. But uh, basically, yeah, it really helps you manage the loudness of it without destroying the actual tone of the uh, piece. Uh, you can't really hear the benefit of it though because I've then turned the gain of it down so that you can hear me but what I can do is actually bypass that uh, let's disconnect that and then reconnect it Right, so my voice is probably going to disappear a bit, so I'll try not to say much, so I'll describe what I'm going to do beforehand. Basically, um, I'm going to show you how loud this has managed to get the thing, and it's fairly loud. Okay.
so yeah I think you'll agree pretty loud um, so I've used a few other plugins as well other than Loudmax which has been great uh, we got the uh, oh, we got MIDI gains already we've done them uh, so let's get rid of Loudmax uh, the Calf Studio plugins I've found really useful they've got nice interfaces um, they do a good job so this one's a reverb unit I'm using that on the uh, the baseline fluid synth which I've replaced Yoshimi with as you can see Yoshimi is muted out um, so all of this in fact I could just put that slider down so it's not causing such a fuss on the mixer um, what else have we got and there's another MIDI gain uh, that was for another channel uh, yeah, so we've got a reverb. We've got all these VU meters, which I've found more useful than the RMS meters visually, uh, because I like swingy needle meters. I'm an old, I come from an aerospace background, and we had all these devices, and they all had that kind of meter instead of the jumpy up and down lights. And I, I just prefer them. Okay, so I put them on all of my channels. Also, we had these spectrograms, the ACE inline spectrograms, and. Um, those are awesome and you might have noticed earlier on this thing as well this is wolf spectrum this is another one I had to download so again links in the description this is basically a great big spectrogram uh, it's not a plugin it's actually a program in its own right that just is running through jack see I've connected it uh, at the end Ooh, it's stuck underneath there it's uh, this one here Whoa. nearly destroyed my coffee Oh, that reminds me I got coffee. Yeah, but basically, uh, that thing, if I put it back to stays on top, you know, keep above others, there it is. Um, we can keep an eye on how the tune, or in this case the microphone, is, uh, you know, reacting to the sounds, which is really useful because you can see if anything's peaking. Uh, oh, the other one is this invader meter. I found that quite a useful thing to have because it, if you bring up this GUI, it gives you a lot of information straight away at a glance. Um, yeah, that's a, that's just a nice one I like. The Zam EQ, I found the only one really that um, gets all the way up to the 20k range in its controls. So um, also, it's got a nice GUI. Uh, so we like the the Zam EQ ones. Uh, this calf multiband compressor I found useful for the drums, better than the single like channel compressor. Uh, yeah, way better actually, because you can just compress the ends of it you need to, and leave everything alone, which is really nice to be able to do. Less is more, so do less with more. <laughs> There's way more buttons on this one. So uh, that was useful. My Carla is looking like a train station. Uh, if I move this meter out of the way. Oh no, I can't because it's stuck underneath there. Let's put it down there. There's nothing really useful there. Uh, yeah, so this EQ's on the microphone as well. The reason I turn these channels down is because for some reason, if I shut up for a second, I'll show you. These weird noise bands were appearing at particular frequencies, so I don't know what they were about, uh, but hopefully removing them has made my voice sound a little bit better. Maybe it's going to make it sound weird, I'm not sure. I can't tell myself, because, you know, it's my voice. Uh, so let me know. Right, I'm going to reconnect the mix to the gain, so that... Actually, there's no need. I think I've said everything I need to. Um, so yeah, that's a look, that's been a look at a few plugins that are really useful. Um, so just to recap, it was the gain ones. The loud max is the most important one for bringing up your mix to the right loudness. The calf plugins. I think I had to go and get them from Discover. Um, if I just bring it out quickly. Yeah, I did. I had to go on to discover and install those, uh, but when I did, I had them, and they look really nice, as you can see. They've got uh, big buttons that turn around, and some that slide, which is always a good sign. Also, some screws. 
which is amazing for a piece of software. I've never been able to get screws into software. So there you go. Um, yeah, so that's been some plugins that I've found useful. Anyway, uh, have fun and take care.